for watching wearshirewoodphoenix.co.uk and this is a Beckstein Model A from 1913 that's just been traded in against an actual uh, Kawai upright piano so if someone's been downsizing the larger grand piano um, for an upright piano on this occasion uh, the, this particular one is a, a black Model A in the original case with all the original parts including the music desk um, and the, the legs is square tapered legs on this one um, with it being slightly more modern as we say in 1913 it's hard to say it's a modern piano but it is um, fr from this kind of era of piano on the inside on this one as well Josh will just show you in um, it has got the capstan roller action made by Schwander um, as well which is a question that we will generally be asked by um, people with with this particular piano, um, or people who are interested in this particular piano, uh, because they, they did do a tied action as well on some of the earlier Becksteins, um, and it's not the preferred action. This is the preferred action in these pianos. Um, but yeah, so the, it, it is just uh, an unrestored Beckstein Model A. As I say, it's just come into stock. We put it on our eBay page, uh, and we will let this one go to our highest, the highest bidder. So it will be a good piano for someone to get started on uh, and enjoy playing. And it is black, of course. It's, it's quite a pretty piano, but it's got it's got the normal marks that you'd expect on a piano of this age. Um, 85 volt keyboard, uh, two pedals, no sauce de neuto on this one, but um, I've personally been playing the piano for a long time and I've never needed it yet. So I'm sure I'm sure it'll be good for most piano players um, to, to enjoy. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do we're doing things a little bit differently today. I'm going to just show you some of the other Becksteins that we actually have here in the showroom at Sherwood Phoenix. Um, this is one that we bought uh, probably maybe about a year ago, and it's it's a really stunning piece. The reason that I bought this one personally is it is number four zero four four, and that is possibly. One of the one of the oldest Becksteins in the country. In fact, it's possibly one of the oldest. Not possibly, is one of the oldest Becksteins in the world that's still in a, a working condition. As you can hear, it does sound like a really old piano because it is, um, and it's got it's got all the original ivories and whatnot on it, and it is generally in good condition. But we want we want to do a full restoration. We have started by. Uh, just doing some veneer repairs and stuff, but we're going to we're going to basically do a, a full restoration on this piano and and keep it as as a a, a kind of museum piece here at Sherwood Phoenix. Um, moving on from that one, that that's the closest spec sign to uh, to this particular one that will be sold on eBay. And do check our eBay page out. Um, it's it's going live in the next couple of days. This is a spec sign. Model K, and uh, this one's from the 30s. You don't see many Model K Becksteins. Um, it's a lovely small example. It's in a refinished black uh, polyester case, and it's it's in great condition. This one's ready to go. Um, this will be sold on the website. I don't know if it's went live yet, but if not, it will be going on the website very, very soon. We're going to just go upstairs. Uh, we have got three floors of pianos here at Sherwood Phoenix, and you're welcome to come down, but let me take you upstairs and we'll show you some more Becksteins. So here we are in the Grand Hall at Sherwood Phoenix um, and we, we have many, many pianos here. We do keep about 250 in stock at all times. Um, let me see the first Beckstein we can find. That's, these are Steinway, Steinhovens, Boston's, Kawai's, Sold Feurig, Yamaha C7. Um, see what else we've not got, we, we don't have many Beckstein uprights in at the minute but we do we've got a couple of Grosway and Baldwin's some more Steinway I don't think there's any down there um, let's see yes uh, Beckstein Model L this one's in its original condition uh, but it's been well looked after lovely piano slightly smaller than the, the Model A, of course, in the mahogany case, 88 note keyboard, serial number on this one, 141234. Um, and if I'm right, that dates it to 
about 1925, 1930. But this one, I think, is on the website. Check the website out for that. And we'll walk down and see what else we have. Bexton Model C, uh, fully restored by a local restoration company, uh, Phil Taylor Pianos. Phil's a fantastic, incredible piano uh, technician, and this, this has been done under his care. It's all been restrung. Um, the actual owner had done the, the French polishing himself, but the, the piano has been restrung, soundboard's been recrowned, and bridges have been recapped, and it has had a full action uh, made by uh, Phil Taylor himself and, and his team. It's an incredible piano, so if you're looking for something a little bit bigger, then the Model C is certainly a bigger piano. That's a, that's a concert-sized grand piano. Uh, let's see what else we have. Um, Bexide model A1, so the A1 is the same size, it's 5 foot 11 as the model A, but on, on this, the thing that is particularly different about the A1 is it is an 8 to 8 note keyboard, which a lot of people like to see um, if they're playing, playing concerts and they're a bit more of a serious piano player, you like to have that top C for certain things, but it's not completely necessary, a lot of people manage with an 85 note keyboard. Um, certainly, it's not something that I, after 30 years of playing, feel that it's completely necessary for my piano to have another three keys. But this is the A1 and it does have the full 88 notes. Um, in a polyester case, has had uh, restoration in the past, not done by us, but it has been restored and it's a lovely piano here to be tried if you're looking for something uh, with the polyester case, roughly this size, again with the Beckstein name then come down and try it. Uh, we've got many Steinways as well, more Steinways and Bosendorfers, North Boston. Uh, that's another Steinway, 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 um, Steinway Model A, Bosendorfer, Bluthner, Bluthner, and this is a absolutely superb looking um, Beckstein Model 5. This is a 1880s uh, Beckstein, six foot seven from the front of the table to the back of the tail, and in the bird walnut case. And to be fair, this has just come back from the polishing workshop. We're going to be doing a full rebuild of the internals of this piano, and it's going to be an absolutely splendid piano when we're finished with it. But we've just brought it up here to see how it sits against. This piano uh, to the left here, which is the Bluthner on the Burr Walnut case, which is more or less complete, uh, even with the duet matching stool, which uh, we've had made for this particular piano. So if you're in the, in the market for a Burr Walnut piano, uh, then this is a pair of absolutely beautiful bees, and that's Bluthner and Beckstein in this case. What else do we have? Um, I think we've got one or two more around this side. Uh, it's another Bluthner. And uh, Ellen's down here and she's going to blind us with her light, but that's all right. Um, Beckstein Model A, hand fresh polished, of course, an 85 note, unlike its big brother, the A1. Um, Restrung, soundboard recrowned, refinished, the frame refinished, all the felts redone, um, new hammers, new dampers. Uh, action rebuilt and ready to go. A fantastic piano. Uh, very similar to the one that's on eBay just now, but it's it's had the restoration, so it's it's basically a fresh piano ready to go. What else have we got? We've got the Bexley Model K A here again. This has been uh, rebuilt probably in the last 10 or 15 years, and it's not been used. It's a, it's a great example. This one's in the twin square legs, as Josh has maybe just shown you, but he'll show you again. So it's got a slightly different leg style on it. 85 note keyboard, as you would generally expect on a Model A. And it has had the full rebuild. Uh, lovely piano, actually. <laughs> Lovely, it's got a more mellow tone. So some of these pianos can be quite bright. We've just got another Model A in just behind us, which we'll show you. Um, and it's, it's, um, it's been going through a bit of a foisting process. Uh, what else do we have? Ah, I've got another few actually. 
so this, this one's just come in. It's also had a full restoration at some point, probably about 10 to 15 years ago. On this occasion, it does have the turned octagonal leg with the uh, replaced replacement casters. It's in a polyester case, the Beckstein Sunburst music desk, and yeah, 85 note keyboard, again, as you'd expect from the Model A. Um, lovely piano. <laughs> for you to say. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely instrument. That one's only just come in and we've been doing a bit of voice work on it and just getting the, the, the action back up to speed. Um, this piano was bought basically as a restored piano and then the people never never really used it. So um, some of the, the action is like a new action, but some of it's quite stiff. So we're working on the action just now to get it playing as it should again. Um, we've just missed a, a little upright piano over here. Um, yeah, little Beckstein upright piano, uh, overstrung of course on this one, and it's I'm trying to see the serial numbers. Easy to find on here, and it's not, but we'll see if we can list it in the video. Yeah, lovely, lovely little instrument, 85 note. It's quite a, quite a short piano this one as well. Let me just play it over to you quickly. In the rosewood case with the inlay as well. Uh, I could just put the music desk away. Which is quite a pretty little piano. And it's been it's been refinished in polyester. It has got a couple of marks on the case, but other than that, it's a, it's a fine it's a fine piano. Um, and then we'll just take you around. I think we've got one more, and we'll go back to the one that is on eBay. Oh, I'll tell you a lie. We've got the Style 6 uh, in the Burwell Nut case. Absolutely beautiful big piano. Um, it has got the Please Tune Me sign on it. Uh, and the, most, most of the pianos in here are going through the season just now, so the, the pianos are changing our tune quite rapidly, which is... <laughs> For, for an upright piano, it's absolutely monstrous um, in sound, purely because of the height of this piano. It gives you the gives you the extra depth and tone with the larger bass strings. Uh, a, a wonderful, wonderful big piano. Uh, let's just see if we can see in there um, without taking it to bits. And the serial number on this one, for anyone interested, is three two one seven three. And I, I, I thought that was the last, but this one here is actually the last one we have. And there's no keyboard in this, as we're currently working on the action. This is a Beckstein Model M in the black polyester case. And that is the last of our Becksteins that we have currently here in stock. We, as you can see, like this, this one's currently in restoration, and as is another couple that we have physically here in stock. But they are all restored in the end. Hence why the one that I'm basically showing you on eBay um, we're not going to do the restoration, we're just going to pass it on and let somebody enjoy it as it is. So let's go back to that and we'll have a closer look at it. So here we have the Beckstein Model A uh, that we started talking about at the start of the, our tour of Becksteins that we have in the showroom at this minute. Uh, serial number again, 108469, which dates it to 1913. Um, 85 note keyboard, as you would expect on a Model A, and two pedals, black case, black hand fetch polished case, and the original black case that is, um, all with the original parts, including the music desk, tapered legs on this one with uh, it being in 1913, unlike the different ones that you've seen upstairs with the twin leg, and the other one with the uh, octagonal turn leg as well. They were the three legs that you've seen most often in Becksteins uh, from the 1880s through to 
1930s and that's the three glag styles that you tend to find on them. Let me play this one over to you, here we go. Yes folks, so that concludes our tour of Bechstein's here at Sherwood Phoenix. Um, if you do want to come down and try some of these pianos, whether it's this one or one of the Bechstein's or one of the many other pianos we have here, please feel free to come down and try it. That's what we're here for. You're, you're welcome to come down and just enjoy the place and get a, get a feel for the differences between an uh, unrestored piano and a fully restored piano or a brand new piano or whatever it is and the difference between uh, Bechsteins and Bluffners and Steinways and Yamahas and Kawais. We've got just about one of every piano that's that's um, worth giving a go, including your, your digital pianos as well. Um, if, you're, if you're not too sure whether to go for a digital piano or an, an acoustic piano, whether it be an upright or a baby grand, then the best thing to do is come out to somewhere like our place at Sherwood Phoenix um, or by all means find somewhere locally. If you're watching this in America or wherever you, you may be watching it from, is do go out to your local piano shops and try some pianos folks. Thanks again for watching, we do look forward to seeing you. Bye for now.